All right, time to play some H3 VR. It's been a while, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, aside from like real life stuff, uh, I've been having some issues with my computer. The um, second monitor that I had kind of died, so it's kind of hard to record stuff now, but uh, we'll see. I've been, I've been trying to do some other recordings, but every time I've tried to record, it's just like the performance is just really bad. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, that's, you know, probably because I don't have another monitor. Usually I would stick the OBS on another monitor. You know, now I've got two of them on the same monitor and it's all really weird. But uh, let's not talk about that for right now. Hopefully the performance is good. Uh, hopefully I had some time today, so it's a little late, but, uh, you know. Anyways, let's uh, check out uh, what's been happening these past couple of weeks that I've been gone. And uh, we got some new stuff here. Although I think some of this stuff might be a little bit older. Uh, especially the Sosa guns. But uh, we've got a new toy here that uh, unfortunately cannot be picked up. Whoops. So we're going to have to spawn that out of the item spawner. But let's just talk about that for right now. Let's go into pistol, automatic. Oh, I also had to uninstall all of my mods because... Uh, uh, I think one of the updates broke it, and I just didn't have the time to reinstall everything. So uh, let's uh, let's see if we can find it. There we go, the Max 9, which is the new toy that was added today. Looking really nice there. Pretty cool. This is, um, oh my goodness, what, what was this based off of? The... Um, God, um, hold on just a second. <laughs> I am blanking out here. The Maxim, there we go, the Maxim 9. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's what, I, that's what the, uh, the uh, actual weapon is called. But uh, it's the Maxim 9, but in the game it's called the Max 9. And uh, yeah, it's a integrally suppressed, integrally, sorry, integrally suppressed pistol. And uh, it looks very, very futuristic. I mean, just look at the uh, lines on this thing. It just uh, looks like it's from uh, <laughs> a little cyberpunk future there. All right, so where were we? Uh, let's see. Okay, so this uses the Glock mags, if I am not mistaken. I just saw the um, the update video, so it's kind of fresh in my mind. But uh, oh yeah. Uh, I forgot what the, I forgot why this, uh, in this encryption, uh, type was in here. I think it was, uh, to mess around with the, uh, stuff. I completely missed that. <laughs> it's been a long time, like I said. So let's just, uh, fire this thing out and look down the sights there. Pretty silent. Well, because of that uh, integral suppressor, and uh, it looks really, really cool. <laughs> so, yeah, just looking at that. I wonder. Oh, it also uh, it has a uh, under rail here, but it also has a hidden rail there, which is uh, I think it's here. Might be here. Hold on. Let me just see where this uh, rail is. Let's spawn ourselves a. Uh, Yep, it's right there. Okay. I thought it was over here, but no, it's right here. That's where a red dot, uh, red dot would go in real life if you had one of these. I don't think... They don't make this anymore, do they? Uh, it's been a while since I uh, kept up with the recent, recent firearms progress, but I don't think they make these anymore. Uh, the, I think they, the company that made this went bankrupt? Or that might, be, that might have been another gun. Was it the Hudson? Ah, oh, I, I can't remember. The H9? Oh, yeah. Okay, well... Yeah, so I've... Yeah, I'm trying to remember why this encryption was in here. I think Anton adjusted the... Uh, the rate on which it, like... Uh, if you shoot the center... And then... Yeah, something like that. I, I, I can't remember exactly. But, uh, yeah. So, Maxim 9... Again, it's got the uh, under 
under a rail mount. Which, I don't, maybe not that one. Let's try another laser light combo here. I like this one. Right, you know what? Let's add a, um, let's add a light as well. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let, let's not. <laughs> let's go with this. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's put a light there as well. Something like that, I guess. Have a nice little light. Hopefully the uh, video isn't chugging, but... Uh... Ooh, this is going to be pretty hard. I can't find the dot here. Oh no! Ah, uh, no! Got it. All right, cool. But uh, yeah, there you go. We can, you know, let's try this against some sosigs. Oh, also, since it works with these uh, types of magazines, the Glock magazines, spawn ourselves a drum mag as well. And what other 9mm Glocks? Let's see. G22, G17, drum mag, custom magazine. 33 round magazine. Okay, stick that there. 19, 15 round magazine. I wonder if this will fit. Uh, we already have a 33 rounder, right? Yes, we do. 22. Oh, that's uh, 40 Smith and Wesson. No, we can't use that one. All right. So we've got our standard uh, Glock 17 mag there. Oh dear. Well, that was something. Drop that. We will do the custom mag. That seems to work as well. I heard it. Pow! Pow! Sally, anyone else smell burnt toast? I see a bright light. Nope, that's my cell phone. Turn it. Damn, that was a good one. Dang it. Don't Oops. mind me. Out. Let's use the 33 rounder. Ooh. Maximum. Again. Goodbye, cruel meat. I'm out again. Is there any more? I think I got them all. And then uh, we've got the uh, short magazine here, which I think is different, right? It is different, sort of. And of course, whoops, that was weird. In my view, yeah, there's a sort of weird red tint to those magazines. I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, whatever. All right, let's pull out the drum mag. There we go. Want some more so six in here. Oh, here. oh shoot! Get me flopping. Aim higher next time. Oh, that is no hard feeling. Yes, ah, I'm out. Can... For serious? Yes, I'm Oops, dead. Missed. Oh, really need to pick a new career. Ah, oh, darn it. I think I got... Oh, no. Bam, that was a good one. Oh, we still got one more. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right. Really need to pick a new career. Oh, 
Cool. Well, there you go. The Maxim 9. I just want to try one more thing before we move on. I know this is really kind of redundant, but uh, let's just grab anything. Let's just grab one of these. This is probably not going to work. No. What else? Can we do anything else? Let's see. Hold on. Let's get rid of this. Let's try a scope. Let's see if we can put a scope on this thing. I don't know if this is limited to like small red dots. Oops. But, uh, all right, whatever. Let's just try the, uh, Oh, yeah. Put a scope on this thing if you wanted to. <laughs> Looks pretty funky. Um, let's see. Rail adapters. Rail extender. Will this work? Uh, nope, since that's already a suppressor. So the extenders don't work. want to make sure. Nope, okay, cool. Um, well, we could put a grip on this thing. All right, stick a stock on this. Let's go with the, uh, the vector stock. Should be right there, yeah. You know what, that's a bad look. Let's throw that away. Hmm, this might be nice. Oops, dropped it on the ground there. Where is the grip point? There it is. All right. No barrel extensions, unfortunately, I don't think. We uh, actually want well, one more check here. I just want to see. Cuts compensator. Extenders. Let's see. Let's try a short one. No. But yep. Yeah, pretty customizable. Since it's already suppressed, they don't can't really customize the barrel, but uh, yeah. All right, cool. The uh, Maxim 9, or the Max 9 as it's known in the game. Let's just get rid of this stuff and move on to something else that I missed, or a lot of things that I missed. Let's drop that in there. All right, just leave that there. All right, uh, as you notice, there are new Sosa guns. It's not a Sosa gun. Throw that away. But uh, these are the uh, winners from the Sosa gun contest that uh, Anton had and uh, yeah all right let us go through these one by one we'll do this one last because it's pretty fun all right we just clear all these uh, sosigs clear all these mags and let's spawn some sosigs all right so the first gun that we got from the contest is the pocket toaster and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, like a little laser pistol. Alright, so we're out. And I think one of the new mechanics that Anton added was the fact that you now shake to reload. Usually, I think, uh, I think one of them... No, no, no. Before the shake to reload, you would put it in a slot and it, it would reload. But, you know, you want to have a little bit more fun in the game, right? So, shake to reload. So, yeah, there you go. Pocket toaster. Some sort of futuristic uh, blaster pistol. Oh. Oops. There we go. All right, next one up. Let's go with the uh, this one, the Desert Vulture. Uh, very unique, unique looking uh, Sosa gun. But uh, oh yeah, Anton decided to um, go through the uh, Sosa guns and add uh, grip points to them as well. So now you can hold them in two hands and. Uh, Okay, shake to reload. Cool, the Desert Vulture. Pretty nice. All right, moving right along this. 
is the Noctigal, which is, uh, if I remember correctly, a futuristic show shot, right? Was it this one? No. This one. Yeah, this one's more like a Bren kind of weird future Bren. But this one, so for those people who wanted a show shot in the game, you sort of got your wish. <laughs> Again, shake to reload. Ding. Pretty cool. It's a futuristic uh, show shot. Uh, hopefully, I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> All right. Uh, I dropped that one. I don't know why, but I dropped it. Okay. Moving on. This is the. Future Bulpov. Reminds me of a, um, again, a Bren, but bullpupped. You got those little off sight uh, iron sights there. <laughs> All right. All right, am I missing anybody? So do I have to haunt you now? Okay, I think I got every. Oh! Got him. Shake to reload. Yeah, there you go. A little futuristic uh, bullpa, uh, bullpup, uh, Bren type thing. Nice green tracers. All right. I don't know where to put that. I'll just throw that on the table there. There we go. Last, and definitely not least. Let's uh. Some Sosigs in the field here. This is the Metal Storm, based off of a uh, Meat Storm. Oh, sorry, Metal Storm, <laughs> Metal Storm, based off the Metal Storm uh, weapons defense system thing that uh, is absolutely ridiculous. And this weapon is the same kind of thing, but portable. So let's fire off a. Uh, well, I don't know if this thing accepts magazines, but, uh... As you can see, aiming it is a little hard due to the recoil. But let's just shake this thing back to full capacity. It takes a while, because it is a big magazine weapon. There we go. Good to fire in bursts. Shake it. Okay, let's uh, continue the uh, Sosig massacre. Are you going to die soon? Nope. Ah. Ah. Takes a long time to reload, like I said, so not really that useful weapon. Well, it's pretty useful. But, uh, when you run out of ammo, it's not really that useful. Okay, there we go. Got any more? Oh, we still got a couple here. Well, you know, if you run out of ammo with the thing, you can still beat Sosigs on the over the head with it. It's so big and thick. But there you go, the Meatle Storm. All right, cool stuff.
Just need to reload this. Hold on. There we go. Oh, man, my computer is slowing down after that. Which uh, brings us to our next little addition to the game, which is performance options, the graphics options, which uh, I think I've already, during my off time, I've already went through and chose the best ones, I guess. Uh, you know what? This is not really a good location to show this, but let's go and go to the uh, final thing that Anton decided to add for us in the game. Whoop. Stop it in my home space there. Let's see. Let's go to the new friendly 45 range. That's right. Anton decided to uh, remaster, I guess is the word, <laughs> the old friendly 45 range and turn it into this. Hopefully the performance is good. It is very high performance. And it might slow my recording down a bit. Okay, I seem to be okay. Good. All right, so this is the new Friendly 45 range. Uh, no doubt people have seen it. I have when I was messing around, but uh, it looks better. Pretty cool. Doesn't look as, uh, I guess, artificial as uh, previously was. Let me just uh, go and do this here. But everything looks a lot more natural. And uh, looks uh, a lot better. The lighting and stuff. So, this is the new options panel. HDR on and off. Loom on and off. I'm not going to turn that one on because that will just slow down my computer. There are some real-time shadows which you can turn off. Which makes everything look... Uh, what's that called uh, in, in um, Half-Life Fulbright? Right? There's no shadows. So you can turn that on. I turned it on. Uh, the anti-aliasing really, uh, really makes my computer run. <laughs> Turn it on to eight times. Oh, man. I don't know if the, the uh, video is, uh, is doing anything, but, uh, man, I, it's really stuttering on mine. So I usually turn it off. Got some texture filtering stuff. Uh, you know, some advanced. Uh, I keep this down at one because, well, the shadows look better. Again... Computer, not good. <laughs> Shadow distance. I think I should keep it at 40, but it looks kind of weird. Like, you've got some shadows. You know, you want you want it to be a good distance away, but not too far. It's 320. You know, you can see you can see all the shadows and stuff. But I got 160. Uh oh man, this is just oh. What is with the stuttering? I don't know if that's uh, showing up in the recording, but uh, I have no idea what this does. Soft particles. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one either. Pixel lights. I think this deals with, like, how many lights are in a scene. I think. So that probably affects, like, flashlights and stuff. So I had to scratch my nose there. Sorry. But, uh, yeah. So you get new graphics options. You've got a new uh, Friendly 45 range. And uh, finally, well, this is one, I thought this was the final thing, but I just remembered. We also got one more thing. We got ourselves a new smoke grenade. Yes, you saw today's devlog. A white smoke grenade. So, let's uh, christen this new, well, this old uh, remastered range with some white smoke. There we go. Ooh, okay. Oh, a little bit of uh, jittering there. <laughs> a little bit of stutter. Uh, that might be the particle effects. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have to uh, find that out. Anyways, let's check out the new range. And I think let's use the uh, new gun here. Get the drum mag so we don't have to reload too much. All right, so basically it's the same Friendly 45, but with just a fresh new coat of paint. Uh, I'm sure you've seen everybody try this out, but... Uh, oh, that's like radioactive green. Oh, 
can't believe I missed that. I made it. <laughs> I did it. I hit it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's the same friendly 45 range, like I said, with a fresh new coat of paint. I already said that. I don't know why I said that again, but uh, uh, let's see. Hold on. Let's see if I can still find the uh, cyber pistol. It should be here somewhere. I think. Not sure where it is now. I don't see it anywhere. Did I... I don't even know where... Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me go back here. So if I'm standing here... Cyber pistol should be over there, right? I don't know. If I'm standing over here... There was a bush... Over in this area. I need to find it. Hold on just a second. Hmm. I don't know if it's still here. I think uh I think I might I might not know where it is anymore. But it's somewhere. I'll find it later. Don't worry about it. That's not really that important. But uh yeah. You friendly 45. Just want to take a look around. Okay, cool. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's nothing really... Uh, again, really looks better. It, it looks a lot better. It might be a little bit more performance. Uh, oops. Might be a bit of more of a performance hog, but... I mean, you know, that's why we've got the custom options there. If you're really worried about performance, let's just... Uh, Turn all this off right here. Let's see. Off. Oops, that's already at the lowest. Down. Everything's running really smooth now. <laughs> Oops, I'm out. But yeah, friendly forty-five. All right, you know, before I uh, before I do stop for today, let me just uh, see if I can still hit the uh, targets in the back there. Let's grab this. Whew, okay, I'm gonna have to do this standing without any uh, bipod support. Whew, okay. Oh, that's not the right one. <laughs> Let's uh, up the magnification here. This is going to be really hard. <sighs> okay. Just a little too high. Oh, just to the uh, to to the right. Oh, just a little too low there. Oh. Can't believe I'm out of ammo. Oh man, this is this is tough.
Oh, I got it. But I think it was the uh, bottom right. There we go. Okay. Oh, well, that's tiring. But, uh, yeah, that's all the uh, recent updates that Anton put out for the game. Again, I had to uninstall my mods because uh, one of the updates kind of ruined uh, a lot of the stuff there. And uh, I just didn't feel like going through and uh, troubleshooting everything. But uh, I might play some more if I have the time. Oh, the game looks terrible, though. <laughs> I just... I mean, it runs so well, but... At least, you know, turn some of the shadows on. Uh... Yeah, maybe 160. Uh, yeah, that should be good. But, yeah, that's, that's it for today. Uh, if I remember correctly, Anton said that next week there's not going to be anything new... But in the future, there's going to be an uh, uh, update for the anniversary of H3, so I can't wait to see what that is. Probably going to be a lot more uh, new toys. Hopefully, the uh, video is recording properly because, again, I can't see it while I'm in the headset. Last time, or like, I've, I've done two videos, like test videos, and uh, each time I like either forgot to... Uh, hopefully, the audio is recording. Because the second time I recorded, I forgot the audio. <laughs> so it was just like 30 minutes of me just talking and you couldn't hear anything. But I think the first time uh, the mouse was on the screen and the uh, video ran at like five frames per second. Because I can't have the game window and OBS running at the same time. It's, uh, yeah, I need a new monitor. Or at least I need to fix this old monitor that I have. But uh uh, you know, that's just, that's my problem, not yours, so I'm going to figure that out. But anyways, that's about it for today, and uh, I will see you guys next time.